everyone. This is Kyle, Kyle again with a demonstration of the Toshiba NB205 N3W N325WH notebook with Windows 7. As you can see here, we for, first we have opened a web page called Hulu. You can play TV shows with it, you can watch movies with it. So now what we will play for you is Grey's Anatomy. See, it did, now it's playing. See, it's playing now. See, Hulu is a free, free, completely, completely free. Completely, utterly free website to watch movies, TV shows, anything like that. If you want to watch Spongebob or, or, or this another game, which this, uh, this one is, you can do that. See how it's playing it? And now we'll go down for the full screen. Look, look at that. Clarity is excellent in, in this screen. Clarity is excellent. You can see it, you can see anything and everything on this netbook. Now, what we will do is the properties of this machine. In order to do that, you would right click, go down to where it says properties, and then left click that. Okay, now, here's the Windows edition of Windows that's on this computer, computer right now. Windows edition says in this box here. Windows 7 Home Premium, copyright 2009, Microsoft Corporation, all rights reserved. Service Pack 1, System Manufacturer Toshiba. Rating is 2.2. Windows Experience Index Rating. Install memory is 2 gig, 2 gigabytes of random access memory. No. Random access memory means that the memory randomly generates processes and then stores everything in in separate in separate separate memory so that way the computer can process something that need so that way it, so that way the computer can process whatever it needs to process correctly. System type is a 32 3, 2, 32 bit operating system. Now, most Windows 7 computers have 64 bit processors in them. In them. So, that, that would mean that a third. 64-bit processor actually processes data faster than a 32-bit processor does. Because the 32-bit processor only processes three seconds the amount of a 64 of a six and fourths bit of a process bit of 
processor. Now it says no input pen and type, so no, there's no, no, there's no touch screen, but it's a pretty decent laptop. So now we're going to go down now. There's all the support stuff. So here's support, phone number, 800 457 7, 7, 7. Now that number is strictly, strict, strictly for technical support. So let's say you want to have a program issue, you will call Toshiba at 1-800-457-7777. So that is what you would do to get that across and get that going. Now what it says here, computer name, domain, and workbook settings. Computer name, Kyle PC, is my computer. Sorry about that screen saver, because you know, I am awesome. Mm. And full computer name is Kyle PC. And computer description is Kyle PC. And work group name is work group. Windows activation, it says Windows is activated. Now, going to the subject of Windows activation processes. You actually need to use that pro a product key from your Windows installation disk, whether it be a Windows XP installation disk, Windows Vista, or a Windows 7 installation disk. You actually have to look at that product key because that product key for every operating Windows operating system is a unique product code key or whatever it is identifies that as your very unique computer slash machine. Now without that unique product code slash key you will not be able to activate Windows. Because without activating Windows it will keep telling you Activate Windows 30 days to, well, to activate, you know, so and so Windows operating system. So I got the screen here again. I am awesome. Okay, now what we will do? Let's go back to where the video is. Now we'll just get that going. Is that going for you guys? Okay, so we're just going to continue this for you guys. Okay, well that was the version and 
Continue, Joe. Now, we will go to the desktop, which I showed you before. See, all these, I all these icons here, this, this one, this one, all these icons are very important to have on a des uh, laptop, desktop, computer screen, or whatever computer you have, because if you don't have any icons or, or programs on your computer, you won't be able, you'll be able to run it, but you won't be able to click and run any programs. Now let's, now I will, now I will show you how to launch a program. First you select the program you want to run. Then you do two clicks of the left mouse click button. Don't do, don't not, do not do a uh, single click because that will only select the program. Because that will only select the program. So now I will show you how to launch this program called Logitech Video HD. Now that program is available for free for free online just go to www.logitech.com slash vid it's a very good application I use it and I think you should use it too so now we will double click double click this program see now it's loaded see that Now we'll go to another, now we'll close out this program. Now we will launch another program by double, not single, double, double clicking, double clicking. Double clicking. A program called Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, now, Microsoft Security Essentials is is good because it was created by Microsoft, and you should trust Microsoft for that program because Microsoft is. A good corporation because they create great products and great operating systems. Now, Microsoft has actually came out with Windows 8. I personally do not like Windows 8, mm. but that's okay. So now we will double click on Microsoft, not single click, double click. On Microsoft Security Essentials. So I'm just going to take a again. See so now what it says here. It says that Microsoft Security Essentials is PC status protected. If you do not have virus protection in your lab, on your laptop or desktop, you will be more vulnerable to security threats, viruses, hackers, all that stuff. The green ch ch check mark means that your computer right, is fully protected against Trojans, horses, Trojan horses, viruses, worms, and yeah, all, anything and everything and all that stuff. Now what we will show you is how to go into the settings of the no no sorry about that. Now we will tell you how to launch another program called. Skype. Now oh, Skype. What is that you may ask? Oh Skype. It's actually a video chatting application too. Because even though you can do conference calls with Skype, you can also do video chats with that. 
for, with your friend. Mm. Now we will just not single. Double. Double click skate to launch up launch and get the program going. Now it does take a while. Now we're on this, see, now we are in the Skype program. As you can see, username for my account. Actually, the account username is our Skype name. That's Kyle. Uh, he tells 21. That's, my, that's me, my old age, because now I'm 22. So. So, we're now going to close this out. And you'll actually quit that application too. Hold on, continue to run in the background. So that, so that is basically what a computer really is. Because a computer is sort of like a machine. Because it now has all machinery parts in there. It has a heat sink. It has a processor. It has a motherboard. What some people call the, the MSI main board. Which actually stands for. I don't know what it stands for. But that's what is in laptops and desktops. It's called the main circuit board. Now, if the main circuit board does go bad, you actually have to replace that whole board. It costs like $200, maybe $300 for a whole new motherboard. that demonstration and that is the end of the of my demonstration of my of me demonstrating my Toshiba NB 205-N325WH netbook with Windows 7 this is Kyle Atals Saying, this is Kyle Atals for Computer Demonstration 101. And now signing off.